Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing the series of Firepower SSNCF 317. Today's lesson is out of syllabus, out of Cisco syllabus, but it's very important and uh, you will face it in your uh, live production or when you are uh, establishing a new infrastructure and you have uh, Firepower with FMC. So what is today's lesson about? It's about like high availability heartbeat problem with VLAN. What does this mean? Let's go to our topology. Great. Our topology here, what we did, let's revise what we did. So here, as we created our VLANs, like here, the sub interfaces and everything and our infrastructure is seeing the internet and up and running great what if now this is the time actually to make the management interface like the vlan 100 to go to the internet why i need that i don't need that actually for the firewall because the firewall already is getting people or the vlans all from inside to outside to the internet both the active and the standby but what i care exactly for uh, the fmc here fmc has to have an internet connectivity to connect with the internet with the cisco talos and to grab the uh, updates and the cv signature uh, many things okay that we will cover it uh, later on so yes this fmc has to go to the internet to see what to communicate with cisco talus and to get the update from that so what is the problem with that only what i need is to assign this interface to vlan 100 okay as long as this pc management pc also in vlan 100 so i'll assign this port uh, the benefit that you assign these two ports to VLAN so you cannot leave uh, the management port for the firepower in the default because the default is VLAN 1 so also you have to put this interface to VLAN 1 and uh, 100 sorry and this assign it to VLAN 100 let's see what the impact of doing that and how the infrastructure will go internet or not so let's start our configuration but before starting the configuration uh, let me I think I open it uh, it's here okay great now the dashboard is getting uh, some feeds because the infrastructure is uh, live and running uh, let's memorize what we have in our access list as I believe just we have one access list is allowing everything to go to the internet just let me see what we have okay okay inside zone DMZ and management is going to the outside zone great what are the networks any any this everything um, basically it's fine uh, yes let's see also the NAT so the device in the NAT we have to divide the NAT also what the NAT we have it here okay I have NAT it's calling like from inside allow inside to outside then also I need to NAT but I don't think so that I can put two I think I have to create another NAT create a NAT manual type dynamic we said actually this is the translation just let me go to the interface so what I want is now uh, actually I put as I remember I put uh, the management in the inside zone 
This is what I remember. Let's check it before creating this. Go to the devices, go to the device management, and go to edit here, interfaces, go to management. Uh, yes, it's in the side. So for the net, it's fine, I don't have any problem. Uh, and the access control policy does not have any problem. So let's assign the ports to the internet. So now here, in the access switch, let's see, show VLAN brief. Uh, yes, I have management is VLAN 100, so I will say config T interface E1 slash 0. This is the connect to the FMC. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 100. Uh, great. And interface E0 slash 0 for the management PC. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 100. And I have to go to the core switch as well. And the interface E0 slash 3 is connected to the management port in the firewall. Mm, sorry. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 100. Uh, again, another core. Conf T interface E0 slash 3 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 100. So by now, I think we are ready to check it. Let me ping. Okay, so I cannot see the internet. Maybe it needs a little bit of time. So I need this. Close. Okay, let's see the reachability between. Okay, FMC is pinging. FTD active is pinging. FTD passive is pinging. Fine. So now, what we need is to have the internet. Okay. There is no internet connectivity. So let's check the configuration of the FMC once more. Uh, go to policies, access control. I think I have a problem here. This rule contains a zone with no defined interfaces. Great. I believe it's the management one. Okay, so inside and DMZ I have it. Save now. Okay, it's supposed to be okay. Okay, one more check for the NAT. So I'm netting the inside to outside and the management is inside. So it's fine. This deploy maybe this is the problem because everything is fine. Deploy. I don't think this is the problem, but let's see. Uh, let me also Try to pin. Still, I'm not able to pin. One more time on the switch to see the configuration. So, show run interface E0 slash 3. Okay. And then the core do show run interface E0 slash 3. Fine. And the access switch. Show run interface E once the zero to the, the FMC. 
Okay, it's 100. And 0, 0. So all assigned to be proper VLAN. And in the call, do show run interface E0 slash 0. Okay, the encapsulation is there. Ah, okay, no. Uh, okay. There is a native VLAN here. It should not be. So interface E0 slash 0. No. Because here the native VLAN is taking out uh, the VLAN tagging. So we will remove it. Compute do show run interface E0 slash 0. Again, interface E0 slash 0. No. Forget about this part, actually. I was trying and I forget the command. Great. So I think we're supposed to have a ping. Great. Now the ping is there because the I was changing the native VLAN, actually. Uh, so now what's going on? Deploy. Why deploy failed? Keep it to the cell. So now, perfectly, I have read the internet. So VLAN 100 now is reaching the internet. But the problem that we will face now, the HA between the two firewall will stop sending the heartbeat to each other. Then uh, the HA will be down. Why the HA will be down? Because the HA between two firewalls is working with the heartbeat. What is the heartbeat? Simply, it's keep alive. Just like I'm sending you like a ping. Yes, I'm alive. I'm here, so fine. You are active. So we are both sending to each other a ping or a keep alive or a heartbeat. But now the heartbeat will be stopped. I will tell you the reason behind that. Just I want to show you that. Uh, there is a problem, great, it's failed, it should be failed because the heartbeat is no more. Let me go to the device management and to see the management now. Uh, okay, let's take a false refresh and let's see what what will be going on so it will tell you here I, I, I want actually to show you like one message come on actually the refresh will take time to fetch the information so uh, let me explain what's going on right now uh, to be honest what's happening is now, if you remember the heartbeat, we put in 10.10.10.1 and the standby was 10.10.10.2, right? It's in a different range. Unfortunately, the heartbeat working with the native VLAN, VLAN 1. Now, when you assign the management here, it will make a conflict that will let the two firewall to loot the communication. To be honest, I don't know what is the secret behind that. Logically, uh, the HA is working in a subnet, different subnet than the management. So why this should be happen like that? Uh, there is no any uh, valid reason for that. Uh, I checked it a lot. So uh, what I came up with it's not allowed for you to change the management VLAN to make it like VLAN 100. So the, 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 the solution for that actually uh, to put VLAN 100 in, uh, in the native VLAN, in the VLAN 1, this is, this is actually the solution. Because even though you show the command, I tried to give the command 
here uh, in the trunk that the native VLAN is V100. But this, of course, will solve the problem, but will not let you to go out to the internet. True. Why? Because what if the when when I'm changing the native VLAN to 100, the let's say the packet when it's going here, uh, then it will remove the tagging, the 100 to remove the tagging, so there is no any tagging will be there. It will access the firewall. Then the firewall does not know that this is VLAN 100 because this is actually the rule of uh, when you tag like the native VLAN. Why? anything you're putting in the native VLAN is going outside because the native VLAN is untagged VLAN so what is the solution for that the solution for that actually to uh, modify the configuration and uh, to make the VLAN 100 to tag it with VLAN 1 also one solution could help as long as FMC has a lot of interfaces, management interface, so you can pull one cable here and you give it, uh, for example, VLAN 70, 192.168.70.2, for example, and you can let only this to go to the internet. You will make a policy and that for it, of course. And this one, keep it in VLAN 1. This is the actually only two solutions that you have. So uh, if you want, you can try the second solution. But for here, I just will try the first solution. So let's go back to the FMC and to see what happened there. Uh, OK. So now what's happening, there is actually no uh, active not sending heartbeats. Okay, this is the message that I wanted to, to show you. So the solution for that, let's go to the we are in devices. Go to the interfaces. Just go and see all the interfaces now are not green, are off. Because there is no any connectivity between them. Heartbeat is not seen. So uh, let's... Okay, here in the VLAN 100, if we said modify, go to down sub interface 100 it's fine vlan id 100 no i will make it one i'm sorry for that okay great so we save it you cannot deploy it because there is nothing is working so what we can do is we have to go to every switch uh, every interface and to put in the default because of do show run interface E0 star 0, this is connected to the management PC. The only configuration you have that VLAN 100, so it's fine. Default, sorry, D, default interface E0 star 0. Okay, default interface 1 star 0. This is connected to the FMC. And so this is we return it to the native and also here. Exit default interface E0 slash 3 and again in the course switch to of T default interface E0 slash 3. So by doing that, no any internet will come, so the internet will be lost pink. So there is no internet now, but 192.168.102 is pingable, okay, and the 3 is pingable, pretty good, 4, mm, yes, 4 also is pingable, perfect. So what we can do, just we want to refresh to see what's going on. So let me refresh this page. Uh, leave page, okay, leave it. Still not lighting, okay, let's take it time to finish. Okay. 
Hello, anyone's here? It doesn't matter if you cancel, make another action. So if I go first here, Manage Interfaces, still, maybe it needs some time. about now my availability interfaces it should come actually it needs a little bit of time it should come now just let me recap what what's happening here so if you decided the minute you decided to put the interfaces in the VLAN 100, the HA here will lose connectivity because the heartbeat is working in native VLAN and you cannot change it. So uh, the only solution for that, even if you change actually the default VLAN here, it will not help you. So the only reason is to make the management interfaces in the default VLAN this here, whenever like there is a management interface in the same subnet, leave it in the default VLAN and you will go back to the firewall. You will change the tagged VLAN for VLAN 100 that you put it, make it tagged with one. So you will return to the native and don't assign anything, make it in the default. That's it. This will do the job. I believe this should be now, it's fine. But this is enough time. For it cannot connect to cloud, of course, because you don't have internet. So just be patient, we are solving some problem still. Okay, now they are lighting up and everything is fine. And we change, I think, yeah, we changed it, but we did not deploy. So now we can deploy because both firewalls were, were absent. So now they came up and they know each other and they send the heartbeat to each other. It's fine. So access control policy, wait, deploy. And actually, I changed something in the interface. I hope I save. Mm. Device device interfaces. Okay, interfaces here. Uh, we now one hundred. Oh, still it's in one hundred, so it's one here. This is what I want. Uh, close. Save. Okay. The first deploy finished or still? Still, actually. So let me finish this deploy. I will put the video. I will finish this deploy and I will deploy again for the VLAN 100 that we changed it to VLAN 1. And after that, we will see the results. So we are back now. Uh, deployment is finished. Device, let's make sure before testing everything. Create sensor. Okay, modify interfaces. All interfaces are up fine. Uh, so it's VLAN 100, uh, 1 now, change to VLAN 1. So let's check. There is connectivity internet. There is no. 
is it a surprise actually because it has to have an internet uh, so let me check Maybe minus. there is a connectivity actually between both right from 92 to 168 at 102 it's fine 3 it's fine 4 it's fine I don't think that I can ping the gateway or no gateway I cannot ping it okay so let me check minus t keep it continuous and let's see what's going on uh, so now where is it where is the console perfect now just see the configuration one more time we are an access show run interface e1 slash 0 okay it's in the default nothing there show run interface e0 slash 0 for the management pc also nothing there and the call switch show run interface e0 slash 3 course nothing there show run interface e0 slash 3 also nothing there so there is no any VLAN associated with these interfaces so they are in the default VLAN and so it has to ping there is no any way to not ping Well, mm, it's outside, outside zone, and VLAN is inside. Okay, so it's inside zone, doesn't matter. Uh, and the routing, actually, you know, the routing we routed everything to the outside so we don't have any problem with the routing and the NAT it's inside also so let me check one thing if I can change it it will be better and more organizable so if we in the VLAN 100 if you remember before we created one zone called management and we put it let's, let's put in the management VLAN actually save it so here you have to take care of the access control policy this all actually kind of troubleshooting will help you uh, how to identify things so it's fine that we are stuck with that so let me see it's inside DMZ okay and put the management for me in the source so this is from source to destination the outside it's fine okay press ok press save so we edited the uh, policy so let's edit the NAT as well so the NAT here we have only one NAT from inside to outside so let me add a route for the net it will be okay dynamic uh, so let me from management to the outside sorry no to the destination outside okay and the translation this will be any network I don't want to assign a specific control for the time being and this will be the destination IP press OK press save press deploy deployment hurry up hurry up hurry up OK open this one access control policy interface policy exactly default NAT so select everything deploy
Okay, great. Again, the same mechanism. I will pause the video until the deployment will uh, be finished and I will come back to you. We return back. Okay, the deployment is finished. So let's ping the internet and to see. Ping 8.8.8.8. There is no ping at all. So the change that I did did not solve the problem. So what is the problem? Let's go back to the interfaces here and try to understand the interface and what's going on. Now our aim is for the VLAN 100 when you change it to VLAN 1. Here, the VLAN 1 ID. But the problem is the sub-interface ID is 100. So you will find it here. 0 0.100 so it's already encapsulated and you cannot change it. Wait. Go back here. Yes, it's dimmed. So even you cannot change it. So what is the solution for that? I need to tell the trunk here that, okay, if you received VLAN 100, consider it VLAN 1. So here we want to change the native VLAN to VLAN 100. The command that you saw. So let's go to the core switch, uh, core switch one, conf t, interface, E0 slash 0. Because the E0 slash 0 is the trunk, right? So do show run interface E0 slash 0. This is the trunk. So what I will tell it, Switch port, a trunk, v, sorry, native, VLAN 100. And the same thing in the core 2, conf t, interface E0 slash 0, switch port, a trunk, native, VLAN 100. Let's now see what's going on here. Ping. Thank God it's pinging right now. So I hope you understand uh, this problem. Uh, what is the best practice actually or what's recommended to do? To not like put also the load for this. So what what is this link action FMC is doing? It's receiving all the feeds and updates from the firewall right so the FMC will see and it will manage and it will take care or when the configuration happened in the FMC so you need to push it to the HA it means there is a traffic so what is the best recommendation for that to do it to be honest and you can try it in your spare time just make another management as I told you and give it a submit with the VLAN and let it take the internet. So all the updates and the feeds from Talos from the internet will be here. And all the update for the management and uh, between FMC and FTD will be on this link. So it's better actually to put all the load that so this link actually is taking the internet uh, contacting to tell us uh, downloading the signature if there is a new signature for antivirus for IPS uh, we'll see like what is in the security intelligence it will update it will see what is in uh, uh, DNS uh, sinkhole tables uh, the blacklist and white this will talk it like later it will update so a lot of updates it will be happening here plus the configuration and you are doing and all the uh, uh, events feeds and look that going here and there from the firewall go straight and go back so better than this so we can like do this as a management for the firepower and this one for the update uh, actually this uh, this lecture as i told you it's out of uh, syllabus but wanted to uh, share it with you because this is actually a scenario 100% you will face it when you are uh, deploying a new infrastructure. Uh, 
I hope the concept is fine with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, and see you soon with uh, a new lecture. Thank you very much.